Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, My Name is Celia, The Life of Celia Cruz. This book is written by Monica Brown and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover, and this is the spine. And you can see the spine says, my name is Celia. Okay, friends, let's get started. My name is Celia. My name is Celia, the life of Celia Cruz. This is the title page. Sugar. My voice is strong, smooth, and sweet. I will make you feel like dancing. Close your eyes and listen. My voice feels like feet skipping on cool, wet sand, like running under a waterfall, like rolling down a hill. My voice climbs and rocks and dips and flips with the sounds of congas beating and trumpets blaring. Boom, 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 beat the congas. Clap, 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 go the hands. Shake, 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 go the hips. I am the queen of salsa and I invite you to come dance with me. Open your eyes. My costumes are as colorful as my music with ruffles, beads, sparkles, and feathers. They shimmer and shake as I move my graceful arms and legs to the beach of the tropics and the rhythm of my heart. In my mind, I carry the place that I am from and the places that I've been. When I sing, memories of my childhood come back to me, spilling into my songs. I was born in Cuba, an island in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. My Cuba was a city of Havana. My family had a warm kitchen filled with the voices of women and men, grandparents, brothers, sisters, cousins, and friends. We ate rice, beans, and bananas and filled our bellies with love and warm coffee with milk and lots and lots of sugar. In the evenings, I would help my mother put the younger children to sleep by singing them soothing, sweet lullabies. Here she is putting her brother to sleep. And here she is with the rice and beans that she cooked with her mom. My father worked long and hard on the railroad, but loved coming home to us each day. He would sit in the backyard and sing with us. He gave us the gift of his music and filled our hearts with hope. Sometimes when I would sing with my father, the neighbors would hear the sound of my voice and walk over to listen to my melodies. We may have been poor, but music cost nothing and brought joy to us all. My papa wanted me to become a school teacher. Such an important job. At school, I learned and grew. I studied history and art, mathematics and science, and even music. I did well in school and I loved to sing. When I sang, my body would fill with the rhythms of Africa and mix with the Spanish sounds of my Cuban mother tongue. Finally, one of my favorite teachers took my two hands and said, go out into the world and sing, my child. You will be known across the land. Your voice is a gift from above and must ring sweet in the ears of our people. My cousin Anita and I would travel far on the bus so I could have a chance to sing in competitions. Even though some people would not let me sing in the contest because of the color of my skin, I did not let this stop me from making my voice heard. I promised myself that I would keep singing and studying no matter what. Wow, she's gonna persevere. She's not gonna let anybody stop her from singing. I was still a young woman when a revolution began in my country. Like many others, I left my Cuba forever. 
First, I traveled to Mexico. Then I traveled to the United States with my husband, the trumpeter Pedro Knight, and our musical group, Sonora Matamcera. New York, my new home with the lights and people, a blend of many cultures and traditions. From my window, I saw the lights and heard the music, and I was the light and the music. Though I left my island and became a United States citizen, I carried my people in my heart. My songs were a gift to all those Cubans who left their island and all the children of the Americas. Boom, 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 the sounds of the congas and the trumpets turned to me. Look, here's New York City. Miami, my home away from home. One day in a restaurant, a young waiter asked me if I wanted sugar in my coffee. Sugar, I said, how could he even ask? I am Cuban. Yes, with sugar. And when I sipped the milky sweetness, I was back in my mother's kitchen with my friends and family. From that point on, when I walked out on stage, I would simply say, sugar and they would know exactly what I meant. Home and love and lots of kisses. The audience would bring their hands together and welcome me. Clap, clap, clap. I sang with my friends Ticho and Johnny and Willie and people loved our music. Together, we brought a new music to the Americas, salsa a music that blended rock with rumba, mambo with jazz. People love to shake and swing to our music. Shake, shake, shake with their hips as they laughed and danced. Teachers and presidents honored me and all because my song sounded like the waves of the ocean hitting the roof of my mouth like the streets of Havana, like my mother's kitchen, like a tummy full of beans and bananas and rice. It's like a cup of warm coffee with sugar. They named me the queen of salsa and I wore that crown proudly. And here's the crown. The crown is made up of musical notes, isn't it? I crossed borders and broke boundaries because I was a survivor and no one ever stopped me from singing ever again. My records turned to gold and silver and streets and stars were given my name. Boom, 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 beat the congas. Clap, 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 go the hands. Shake, 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 go the hips. When we sing together, our words are like the smiles flying across the sky. Come dance with me now, my friends, to the beat of the drums and the sound of the trumpets and the tropics. Even when I am gone, my music will live on. Azúcar, sugar. And look, they're all dancing to Celia Cruz's music. When Celia sang, she brought the happiness to all of those who heard her. She was born in Havana, Cuba in 1924 and grew up to be a singer who was loved across many oceans. Celia grew up with 13 brothers, sisters, and cousins under one small roof. She loved singing, even as a child, and was most joyful when she was on stage sharing her love of music. During the 1950s, she began became the lead singer for a Cuban musical group called Sonora Matancera, which became famous across the Americas. After the Cuban revolution, Celia and her husband left Cuba forever and became United States citizens. In the years that followed, Celia Cruz sang with many famous musicians, such as Tito Puente, Johnny Pacheco, and Willy Colon. Together, they helped create a new type of music called salsa. In her lifetime, Celia Cruz became the queen of salsa 
and touched many lives throughout the world. She was honored with Grammy Awards and gold records, and even a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. When Celia Cruz died on July 16, 2003, thousands mourned the loss of their shining star. The mayor of New York named July 22nd Celia Cruz Day, and thousands of people lined the streets of New York City to say goodbye to her one last time, shouting Azúcar and filling the streets with her beautiful music. And here is a photograph of Celia Cruz. The end. So this book was called My Name is Celia. Thanks for coming to Storytime, friends, and I'll see you next time.